Hello everyone, my name is Bavin and I'm going to teach you how to solve the Rubik's Cube today. The Rubik's Cube can be solved in uh, 10 easy steps, um, otherwise also known as algorithms. So I know that everybody makes this out to be pretty complicated. But actually, if you break it down in each of these steps that I'm about to teach you today, it's not going to be terribly difficult. Actually, it's quite easy. What I'm doing right now is I'm just messing it up. As you saw that in the beginning, it was solved. And it doesn't matter um, at what state it's in. The 10 steps that I uh, teach you you can get it back together and you can solve it, solve the Rubik's Cube. So no matter what step you have it in or how, what state you have it in, you can always uh, start um, on one of the sides. So, so the, the unique thing about Rubik's Cube is that it has six different sides, okay? And it has six colors. And the center piece right here, right here, right here, center pieces can never be changed. So, for instance, example, if that is the yellow center, that means this is the yellow side. All the yellows need to be gathered on here. Um, the way to solve uh, another misconception about Rubik's Cube solution is that you solve it at one side at a time but that is not how you can solve a Rubik's Cube however you have to solve it one layer at a time so when you solve the when you when you have the first step you need to solve that layer and then the second step is to solve the second layer and then so forth uh, there are more algorithms for the third step because it gets more complicated but we'll get we'll get through that in a little bit. So the easiest thing in solving the Rubik's cube is you need to solve the first layer, which is that piece of it right here. Okay? This this whole nine pieces. So what we need to do first, we need to make a um, white plus sign. Now I always like to choose the white side because that's the way I have learned it. Um, so what I would suggest is we need to make a white plus and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, you need to follow uh, what I'm showing you. So in order, um, the, the middle, middle pieces will always be in the center somewhere else in the cube if they're, mis uh, if they're misaligned. So what I did, I just moved that forward. Um, so now we already have the white piece matching up right here to the white as you can see right there and then now we need to get the orange matching with the orange so the orange is on the opposite side so I'm just gonna move that piece here so now the orange is matching up with the orange and now if you look at the top the white is matching up with the white so we have one-fourth of the plus sign so far okay when we're making the plus at the same time we need to be matching up the side colors as well right here so now we look for another piece right here. There's another piece right there. There's a third piece right there. So what we're going to do is let's, let's work on this one, okay? The blue and the white right here in the center. We're going to move that down, okay? And then we're going to move it over. Now follow this piece when I'm moving it, okay? This is the piece we're following. And then now you know that the white piece is already on the bottom. So we're going to turn this, this side face upside down. Follow this piece right there. We're going to turn it upside down and we are done. Okay, so now we have two pieces, but we also messed up the orange piece in the process. So what we're going to do is we're going to get that orange back in line. And the way you do it right there, it's the orange and the white. We're going to move it down and then now you're going to move it over until you get to that orange matching piece. And then you're going to turn it upside down and it's going to come to the top. So now we have the orange piece done right here. And then we have the blue piece done as well. Now, 
we find the other one right here, the red one. So there's a white and a red. So we're gonna move this uh, so that the red comes up. So we're gonna move this to the side, okay? And then now you have the red matching and if you just move it to the top, you will have the white matching. Did you guys follow on that? Look, we have the white matching right there and then the red matching there. Now, the green is ready. It just happens to be that the green is ready because it's already matching. There's the middle piece. And now, we're just going to move it to the top. A um, lot of times, so now we have our plus sign. A lot of times, this is a very easy step. But because we're starting off, it is important that you have the perspective that you need um, and concentrate on just this step while you're uh, because practicing it will 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 make you make you get this first step faster again now you can see that we just got only the first step which is the white plus but at the same time we got the sides the the center pieces of the sides matching as well that is the very, very first step, okay? Um, we're not gonna put that into consideration yet because that one is really not done. So there's your, there's your white plus. We will continue with step number two. Uh, in step one, I'm just gonna remind everyone that we did the white plus. Now, step number two is we're going to get all those whites, white corners, right there. But at the same time, we're going to get the appropriate color. So this side, this, this corner piece is going to have orange, green, and is going to have the white. Okay. So actually, we have this piece in place, but it is mis, uh, it's, it's, um, misaligned on the colors so here's an easy way to stop uh, easy way to resolve that you're just gonna push this do this algorithm you're gonna push this side down the right side down you're gonna move it over and then push it back up because you don't want to misalign the plus sign so now if you uh, take the bottom side and turn it over twice um, okay there you go until you get that piece on the bottom right there that's your green orange and white and if you can tell it's still misaligned because you have the orange and orange is not matching the orange color there the green is not matching the green here because it's orange so it's flipped so we're going to do that same step one more time you're going to move it down turn it over and then move it back up now you're going to move it, move the bottom until you get to the orange matching the orange. Okay, so now it's very simple. What you do, you want to get this piece to the top, the white, orange, and the green piece to the top right here. You're going to move the two sides out of the way. You're going to move it away. Now you can flip this piece to the top. And then now you bring the orange down. Okay, did you guys follow me on that? If not, it's okay, don't worry about it. Uh, we're gonna go through it again. And another reason why I'm making this YouTube video is so that you can reference my video uh, throughout the process, throughout the learning process. And it'll be easy for you to go back to the video. Uh, every time you go back, you can, um, you can practice the initial steps again. And that'll make you... Um, that will make you learn how to solve the Rubik's Cube faster. So now, this piece is done. How do I know it's done? Because the orange is matching the orange center. The green is matching the green center. And if we turn it over and we look at the white, the white is matching the white center. Now we're going to get another corner. So it doesn't matter which one we do first. There is no, um, there is no order that we need to follow. So since we have the orange and the blue and the white, we're just going to go to the orange side 
right there. So the orange matches the orange. The white will be on the top right here. And then the blue will be right here. So this is easy too. So another way to do this is you move. Now this time, this slightly change. You're going to move these two out of the way. Okay. And now you're going to just bring this up because the white is already there. And then now you're going to bring those two pieces, those two sides or layers back into the picture. How do I know we did this right? The blue is matching the blue. The orange is matching the orange. And then the white on the top is matching the white. Okay. So now we have two more pieces to go on the top. So the way you know what you're looking for is you're just going to, we're going to look for another white piece. Okay, so we have one right there. So let's, the first step to do is if you have it on the top, okay, you want to move it down and move the down away and then pop the side back into its original spot. So if you look carefully, our sides are still good. Our center pieces on the sides are still matching. And then the white, we still have our plus sign. We have two corner pieces. Now we have to bring this piece onto the top so that it matches the three colors. And this piece is a red, blue, and then a white. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep turning this until we get to the blue side. So there it is, look. Red, blue, and then the white. So you know that this, is, this piece right here is going to go to the top. Now this one, again, is pretty simple. If you look at it again, look at where the colors are aligned. We're going to move these two layers out of the way. We're going to move this up so the white matches the white. And then now you're going to bring those two layers back into the picture. And look, that corner piece is perfect. We're almost done with the second step of the Rub uh, or the third step of the Rubik's Cube process. Um, first one again. I apologize. We're at the second step. The first step was the plus sign and then the second step were the corners so now we have the white piece on the bottom but look our colors are misaligned so we're just going to move this down move it away and then move it back to the top so everything matches back you're going to turn it over two times now our colors are matching okay the white's going to come to the top and the red's going to come up here. So we're going to do, um, you're going to move these two layers out of the way, bring that piece in, and then now move the white layer back there. As you can see, we have successfully solved the first layer of the Rubik's Cube, and it is perfectly done because the top is all white. And the three pieces on the sides, they match the center piece. Just like that. That is perfectly done. We're done with two steps of the Rubik's Cube. The third step in solving the Rubik's Cube is during the first two steps, we had the white side facing the ceiling. Now what we're going to do for the rest of the um, steps in completing the Rubik's Cube, we're going to turn it upside down and now the white side will always be on our on the bottom facing the floor. So step number three in solving the Rubik's Cube is we're going to get these pieces, the center side pieces. These are the ones that we have to solve. Now the cool thing about the, the center side pieces is that they are always on the center of the cube. So they're going to be either here, here, um, that's it. They're just going to be in one of those three places on each of the sides or on the top layer. So now the way we know we need to bring one of the, st uh, uh, when you're done with this step three, you should have a plus sign on the yellows Okay, you should have a plus sign on the yellows and you should have each one of those center pieces matching the center of that side. Okay, so let's, let's, let, let me give you an example. So we have a 
blue and an orange right there, which is already on the top. So the, the algorithm I'm going to teach you is going to take that top center piece and is going to be locating it to either this side or this side. Okay. So we're going to we're going to find where that blue the blue and the orange piece is going to go. Uh, again, with the white on the bottom. So we're going to keep turning and you want to face whatever colors on the top here of the piece you're trying to move in the right place. So that piece, the blue and the orange is going to go right here, which is perfect. You want that that whatever the colors on the top you should be facing that side now if we we have to take a reference of where these two are versus where these two are if that piece needed to go here we're going to do a separate algorithm but in this case this piece needs to move here so in this case here's the algorithm we're going to do okay first you're going to move the um it's, it's a 10-step algorithm, so just follow along. We're going to move the top to the left, so you're going to basically, wherever this piece is supposed to land, we're going to move this top side away from that side. So step one is here, one, and then you're going to move the side down, two, again, three, four, now we're going to do five. So that orange and blue piece is here, five. Once you have it in the proper um, layer, we're going to go the opposite direction. Six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten. That's going to land that orange and blue piece right in that center layer. The orange is matching the orange center, the blue is matching the blue center. That is how we know we did it perfectly. So basically essentially what this algorithm does is it takes that whatever that center piece was up here it brings it down here and those are the only two things that change when we perform this particular alg algorithm. So we just had replaced, we just had replaced that and that as part of the uh, uh, resolving the layer, second layer part. So now let's look at our top. Let's hunt on which piece can go to the middle layer. We move it from top layer to the middle layer. So I, this would be a really good piece right here because it's, it doesn't have a yellow and it is a two color piece without a white or a yellow. So we're going to do a red and a green. And just to remind you, the white is still on the bottom. So we're going to move this until it is across from the green side. Did you notice what I just did? I put that piece, the green piece, away from the green side. But I am facing the green side, and the piece that where we have that we need is away from us on the top. So we need a green and a red. So now we gotta find: is this the red side, or is this the red side? As long as you're not colorblind, we can tell this is the red side right here. So here's here's the other algorithm. Okay, we're just gonna do the opposite of what we did earlier. So we're still following that. We're going to take this piece and move it here, and this piece will move to here. We're going to go away from the direction that it need, the layer that it needs to be. So we're going to do top to the right, down, one more, two, three, four and then five. Once we have it in the proper layer, we're going to do the opposite. Six, seven, eight, nine, 
and 10. That puts the green and the red piece right where we wanted it. Okay. Now if you look, look at the whole Rubik's Cube, only this piece is out of place on the second layer and this piece is out of place. And if you look carefully, they are in the wrong places because they, are the, they just need to be swapped. So this piece needs to go here and this piece needs to go here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to move this piece to the top. Now it doesn't matter which, uh, which, layer, you, which layer you choose to work with. So we're just going to randomly, we're just going to randomly choose something and we're going to move this piece up here. Okay, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now we have our green piece right there on the top, green and orange and our yellow is down here. So now let's move that green piece where it really belongs. And if you can see real quick, this is our green piece and the orange, and it's gonna go right here because we have the orange side right here and the green side right there. So we're just gonna do it quickly, okay? I'm gonna go a little bit faster for our time's sake. One, two, three, four, five, and now opposite, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So now the green and the green matches there. And then the only piece remaining in the second layer of our Rubik's Cube is this piece right here. And as you can see, the red is on there. So this makes, this will make it perfect. So when we solve this, we're gonna have that red piece down here and the yellow piece will be up here. And like I stated earlier, we will form a yellow plus. And that's what we're looking for. That will allow you to skip some steps, some algorithms, when you have that yellow plus. Okay, so let's do this. This red piece needs to go here. The red piece needs to go here. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so now if you look carefully, look, our two layers are completely done with the white untouched. Now on the top, so here's another variation on how to ensure that you form a yellow plus while you're resolving the second layer okay so you can tell this is a um, this is swapped the colors are swapped here and this piece needs to be on the top flipped up so the only way to do this is you may not always get a yellow plus so here's how you can get the yellow plus and solve the middle layer at the same time so we're just gonna choose doesn't matter which one we choose but, but you normally would like to choose the one that is messed up and place it here. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and now opposite, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so now we got a yellow piece lined up and we wanted the blue and the orange to be there. So now we're going to move the, we're going to face the blue side because our top color is blue and that orange color is right there. Okay, and when your yellow is facing you along the side that you're working on, you want that, that yellow will automatically be up here and you will have the yellow plus afterwards. Okay, so here's the way we do it. I'm going to go on the opposite side, step one, two, three four, five. Now it's in the layer, and you're gonna do opposite. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And voila, we have the two layers solved. The white is still good. Now we have the yellow plus. We're back to 
res resolving the top layer now. So now what you want to do is to get all the yellows, your goal is to get all the yellows on the top. And there's a set of algorithms. You want to try to get the side that matches the most. So, so you see that the red side is the most matching um, than any other one. The orange is matching as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, so the blue is as well. So I'm going to take the red. It doesn't matter which side you choose. And then you're just going to do this real simple algorithm. You're going to keep the side that's matching on your left. You're going to go down on the left, top to the right, and then down on the right side. You're going to flip the square over 180 degrees. So now you're going to match up the whites. You're going to move this white down, and then you're going to match up the white, and then move it down. Okay? This will bring you to the step that we want which is which is known as the fish if you if you visualize this visualize this carefully you can see the fish that's the eye of the fish that's the tails and this is the body right here okay you can see the fish once you have the fish you go to the square you you face it and you match it up where the corner matches and you want that eye of the fish to be on the bottom left so once you have the fish it's another set of algorithm one two three four five and then you're going to do twice on this one six seven and then eight you're going to move that back down you're going to come up with the fish again you see the fish, bottom right corner, you're going to do that same exact step again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now as you can see, we have the yellow side too. But there's just some, some pieces that are not matching up. And don't worry, they will. Uh, eventually they will all match up. Now again, I have the red side that is most done. I have it on my left hand side. We're going to do that algorithm, the small one. One, two, three. And then now we're going to rotate the cube 180 degrees. Okay. Now you're going to, when you bring this over, you're going to match up that white and then move it down because remember our white side is down. Then you're going to match up the white again on this side and then bring it down. Again, that's going to give you the fish. And then you're going to match up the corner. And you just keep doing the two set of algorithms that I just showed you. Okay, now this is the eight step algorithm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and then you're gonna move this down okay when you keep doing this the Rubik's cube will automatically solve itself and it will get you to the last uh, algorithm and you will see what it is so again we're gonna do that eight step again because we have the fish eye one two three four five six seven and then there we go now we have the green side done so what did I say before and the whichever side has the most matching is what we need so we're gonna move this down right and then down and then you're gonna move this you're gonna match up the whites four five six and down now we're gonna we're almost to the last step now if you notice the colors changed for our fish and this time it's orange and blue so again the fish is on our bottom left we're gonna do one two three four five six seven and eight 
we got our fish again with the blue and the orange. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're all look at look at this look at what we where we're at. This is solved and we're at the very last algorithm. All I did is I just moved the top to make one of the side. Doesn't matter what color it matches. You may have a different color here. Now the very last step, you're going to have to look carefully, okay? The very last step is you're going to... This is the last step where you have one, two, and three squares out of place. So now the way to do it, this is the last algorithm. You're going to turn the face upside down. And how did I choose this side? I chose this side because the opposite side is completed. So you're going to put the opposite side that's completed away from you with the white steel still being on the bottom. And now you're going to face, you're going to move this side down. Now whichever color this side is, you're going to make sure that the, the piece, so sometimes this color may be over here and sometimes it may be here, which is in this case, right? So you're going to move that into the place okay now you're gonna move both of the sides down down now you're gonna turn it back up 180 degrees okay and then you're gonna move both sides up and now you look at the side you have two orange and a red look at that two orange and a red you don't you have an orange and then two reds here so that's not the one so you're gonna move this piece to this side you got everything matching and then now you're just gonna move the white to the bottom and you have a Rubik's Cube that is completely solved. Please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, please send me comments uh, or ask questions. And um, if you uh, want to make suggestions, you're free to do that. Um, I will try my best to um, be as simplified as possible on my upcoming videos. This is my first video. So I apologize if there was any confusion. But please subscribe. Thank you.